We already added support for the 4K Blackmagic cameras uh, at 9.5, but we enhanced it to support the 6K cameras uh, at 9.51. Cinema 5D at Interb 2019 is brought to you by Lawa, unique cinema and photography lenses. Fomex, devoted to remarkable light. Gudson, capture the world. And Panasonic, cinematic moments for your production. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D, and I'm here with Alex from Edios. Alex, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thanks. And we are here at Interbit 2019, and you just announced the new update, update yes. for the version. This yes. is now 9.5.1. One. Yes. But before we talk about the point one, uh, the 9.5 you already announced during September at IBC. IBC. Yes. So let's start from there. What was the latest, like the biggest thing that you announced during September? Well, so the biggest news for 9.5 was support for multicam audio sync. So you'll be able to synchronize um, multicam clips uh, by uh, audio analyzation. So it was a much requested feature from our users from a long time ago. So we finally got around to doing that. So uh, yeah, now um, you don't you can get clips from various sources that don't contain time code but Edius can analyze the audio on it and automatically synchronize it together to create a multicam project. Can it also work with a single camera and a single source of audio, like external audio device and a DSLR, for example, a mirrorless camera? Yeah, so if you have like multiple files that were recorded in the same situation, yes, it can be analyzed and synced together as a, as a multicam project, yeah. And the 9.51, what is the enhancement that was just announced yesterday? Yeah, so 9.51 actually has a couple of uh, enhancements. Um, one is regarding the uh, support for 6K Blackmagic RAW format. So we already added support for the 4K, uh, the other um, Blackmagic cameras uh, at 9.5, but we enhanced it to support the 6K cameras uh, at 9.51. Um, also, this one's uh, pretty much uh, uh, focusing to the Japan and China market, but we also added support for 8K uh, monitor preview. So um, you need our special 8K turnkey um, to do that. But uh, with the new version 9.51, um, you can export out uh, SDI signals into a monitor during playback uh, while you're doing 8K editing. So theoretically, you are ready for the Olympic Games. Yes, yes. That is, yeah, that is one of the big, big targets. Yeah. Um, talking about support to different formats, we mentioned Blackmagic Raw. Yes. So you also have some Blackmagic presets to go along uh, yes. that? Yes. So all the Blackmagic LUTs are supported inside Edius already. So if you select a Blackmagic clip and apply a primary color correction filter, um, automatically the LUT will be detected and the uh, uh, how do you say? Yeah, it would be applied uh, accordingly. We already supported uh, ProRes RAW in version 9.4, so you can import ProRes RAW clips and use them inside the timeline. One other thing I forgot to mention, in 9.5 we supported uh, uh, ProRes uh, 444 export from Medius. So um, it allows you to export with alpha information into a ProRes format. And of course we cannot neglect uh, Cinema DNG, for example, the, the new Sigma FP camera is recording in this raw format. Is this supported? Um, we do support Cinema DNG. I do need to confirm um, with the actual file to make sure that it can be read, but I believe so, yes, it, it, it should be supported. Yeah. Okay, but what about me? Because your system, your editing system, is actually based on the Windows platform. Mm -hmm. I'm a Mac user. What can I do if I would like to try and work with your system besides the easy way of converting to Windows? What is the other option? Well, another interesting option may be uh, to try Edius in the cloud. We're working with uh, Amazon AWS to have Edius running in the Amazon Workspace uh, platform in the cloud. So when you have Edius in the cloud, you can have any type of equipment locally to just connect to the cloud machine and to use uh, to use Edius. So you can have like a Mac system and you can run that uh, uh, cloud app to connect to the cloud machine and use Edius. So. Very clever, very nice. And actually, when you think about it, almost like, a, you know, why not, of course. 
So this is function, and how about, is it a subscription base? Um, yeah, we're, it's still in the initial phase of business development, and we're talking with, uh, how do you say, broadcast customers, like broadcast stations, cable companies, um, to try this out. Eventually, we would want to roll this out to be a more open, uh, to be available to more open to many users. But currently, so we're still, um, how do you say, on the deciding phase of that. Alex, thank you very much. Just in time before the big noise starts from the next stage. So thank you very much for the information. Guys, thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to our, to our YouTube channel. And let's move to the next video. Thank you, guys.